Hello and welcome back to the Genesis Designs and Model Craft Bench and another quick inbox review uh, and th this is my first models fit kit I've not had a models fit kit before I've uh, seen and heard good things about them but never actually looked at one myself um, so who the heck are models fit uh, if you've not heard of them it's another Ukrainian brand and I'm going to quote off their website, this is what they say about themselves. They're specialising in production of unique scale kits of Soviet warplanes and establishing itself as a quality leader in the short run production technology. A bold claim indeed. Um, so they're specialising in Soviet uh, designs and I know they do a neat line in, in Beriev's uh, flying boats actually. Um, but they also seem to have a bit of a liking for the Mirage and who doesn't I mean such a pretty jet probably I think one of the best looking jet aircraft ever actually um, those who disagree may remove themselves from the channel immediately nah just kidding um, I do think it's a very very pretty airplane and although there have been a lot of kits actually of the Mirage 3 over the years there have been very few if any genuinely really good ones so I was quite keen to have a look at this uh, Mirage 3. Now I have built Mirages in the past. I've literally built one and I did it years and years and years and years ago and it was one of these. And I just recently bought this second hand example of the Esky Kefir C2 for nostalgic reasons. I remember, clearly remember buying and building this kit when I would have been less than 13 on the uh, dining room table back in the day I remember the orange triangles uh, anyway digression aside here we are back with a modern day kit um, so yeah let's have a look at this models of it so I got this from Hannant's um, cost me 29 pounds and 40 pence bit of a weird price don't know why the 40 pence comes into it um, and this is what you're gonna get so a nice neat Ziploc bag full of sprues. Quite a few of them. Fuselage first, then. Lovely finish on these parts. Real smooth, glossy, shiny finish. Glossy and shiny are the same thing. Don't need to repeat myself there. Um, lots of really great detail, too. Immediately, you can see on these, these parts in between the fuselages the moulded in detail on them is phenomenal remember 70 second scale and if you can even really see it the panel line surface detail on that fuselage is absolutely glorious very very fine yeah you can barely snag your fingernail in it it's so fine really lovely need to find better words for nice things than nice and lovely uh, selection of fuel tanks you got these a pair of these really slender wing tanks quite unusual feature of mirages and then a pair of the slightly bigger versions with the fins on them and pylons to suit Whoop. main undersurface of the wing moulded in one piece which is handy and that, as with most Delta aircraft, actually, the, the Mirage's wing is anything but basic. It's got this pronounced under camber at the leading edge and, uh, uh, and different various sort of angles and shapes in it, uh, which would be very, very easy to miss. But again, just take a look at this surface detail. It's absolutely exquisite. You've got rivets in the back half there. And again, details on those undercarriage bay walls. I hope this is uh, going to come out okay. It's very difficult for me to tell looking at the camera screen whether it's really picking things up or not. Some substitute parts here. We've got intakes. Uh, there's two fins in the kit. I am not a Mirage spurt. I don't know why there are two fins or what they're... Uh, appropriate for though this sprue is for CJ and this is for C so that's probably a, a good clue but I'm just gonna have to 
trust the instructions to be fair so you've got a multi-part ejector seat injection seat some missiles bigger missiles it does say in instructions what they are but i can't remember off the top of my head so i'll go through it at that point more beautiful surface detail on the fin and just excellent details throughout beautifully done this is the sprue labelled for CJ it's got your engine parts and undercarriage an instrument panel and another fin some exhaust ducting with inter internal ribbing there are your upper wings super nice main wheels are moulded in, in halves as are the nose wheels no real tread detail that's become, fast becoming a bugbear of mine undercarriage doors there again just delightful details all moulded in and then control surfaces at the back here the moulding is the quality of the moulding is absolutely superb and I think that bold claim of being the best at limited short run kits is it's well it's on the money honestly I mean look, look at it it's absolutely delightful uh, the last sprue in here is weapons various infrared style missiles short range missiles and some pylons to go with them and as I say I'll read out what the missiles including missiles are when I get to the instructions Transparencies, you get a choice of an open canopy or a closed one, so the closed one's moulded in one piece to avoid any unsightly joints. Bit of a distortion now, put my hand under, twist this about slowly, there you go, you can see. Reasonable amount of distortion in those parts. I don't know, because I'm not a kit designer, what the secret to distortion free transparency is. Uh, but it seems like models of it don't know that either, because a fair bit in those parts considering how small they are but cleanly molded nonetheless there's no real flash anywhere on this and no drastic mold seams either also included and i'm getting real shades of door wings here I, I doubt if the two companies are connected but the approach seems extremely similar throughout with the old business card style affair here some photo etch seat harnesses, internal parts and jet exhaust nozzle parts mostly I think tiny piece of film for HUD glass which is um, sort of slightly prescribed and then the pre-cut vinyl masks this covers the wheels and the canopy basically okay yeah, of then get a good selection of markings in here now this is the kit for the CJ and the CJ was uh, an export version meant for Israel um, it had simp a simplified electronic suite at the point when it was supplied, although I suspect Israel rectified that over time. Um, and Argentina, like later on, the Israelis sold some of their aircraft and Argentina bought a few. So the options on this in this kit are for Israeli and Argentinian aircraft. Uh, and this is a truly spectacular decal sheet. Again, printed by Decograph in the Ukraine as per Dora Wings um, and it, yeah it's absolutely fabulous absolutely fabulous lots of stencils lovely bright national markings walkways you name it it's all on there um, yeah truly lovely very impressive and finally 
instruction sheet, which is kind of exactly the same size as the box, so it's a bit hard to get it out. A4, stapled. Glossy paper, got your required paints on the front here. Uh, Mr. Colour and AK, interestingly. A little bit of history. Uh, this aircraft first flew in 1960, believe it or not. We're looking at a 60 year old aircraft. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Starting off then with. This doesn't really fit, maybe I'll zoom out a bit. That's a bit better. Starting with your breakdown of everything that you should have in the kit. So your transparent film, your photo etch, your master decals and all the different sprues. Uh, and the parts are numbered on these sprues as well. Construction. And I really, I love the style, the way this is done. It's this sort of slight 3D effect rendering. Really, really nice to look at and very, very clear to understand. And then they've added colour in various areas you see this sheet you've got all your paint call outs there but they've also coloured in the instruction sheet a little um, I mean I know we can all read and everything but it's sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of a, a representation there right in front of you rather than having to constantly refer to um, paint numbers got your main wheel belt main wheel wells getting built up there onto the lower wing and it's pointing out to drill out the holes if you wish to fit armament. So if you don't want an aircraft bedecked with missiles and tanks, you don't have to have one. Main construction looks easy enough. All very, very clearly done with paint call outs all the way through. That's the addition of all the various uh, control surface actuator fairings and showing you, you can actually droop the elevons on the back end of the wing. Uh, main undercarriage going in. Lots and lots of little details on all of this. There's your nose undercarriage. Not sure if you need nose weight or not. Does it mention it? Yes, it does. Four whole grams of nose weight. Calipers, uh, some aerials. The uh, question marks throughout are coloured so they're easy to notice and it shows you there that you know, not all of the options in this kit require all of the parts. So then the weapons load out, you get a pair of Matra, no sorry, you get a single Matra R530 if you wish to use it. You get a pair of 1300 litre fuel tanks which is the bigger ones and a pair of 500 litre fuel tanks which is the smaller ones, it shows you here can go in either of the inner pylons but you can also use the big tank in the middle and then you get a pair of Shafri 2 missiles and a pair of AIM 9Ds so depending again which time period or version you're modelling will tell you which of those that you should use and then on to the paint schemes and there are some really attractive schemes I've picked out for this um, so the first one is a light and dark ghost grey version of the Israeli Air Force. Now you might sort of say well that's boring but actually it's really attractive and it suits the lines of the aircraft really really well. do like that. The second one going back a bit so this one's 1981 this one's 1974 and it's the old uh, sort of three coloured desert over us a sort of a sky undersurface colour with the red and white stripes on them. I'm trying not to. Somebody mentioned in a comment about the glare from my lights and I have actually put some diffusing material over my light to try and help with that. Uh, I can only apologise, this is my workbench, not, not a film studio and it never will be, it will always be my workbench for some first and foremost. So little things like that are going to pop up and yeah, here's what it is. I made an effort, that's the main thing. Then we're going to 1973 with the uh, archetypal Israeli Mirage with the, the the girt triangles on the wings, which I, I do love that scheme, it, it's really interesting. Uh, were I to do this scheme, I, I very much would not use these decals though. Um, the surface detail on this kit is so fine. And then you've also got all of these 
various fairings and things in that area it'd just be a nightmare it's definitely something you want to paint on really rather than using decals but it's the same colour scheme as the previous one just just with those triangles and then you move on to Argentinian aircraft so this one is labelled as duck egg blue and dull dark green again really quite an attractive scheme but this this is over a light grey 2004 would you believe and this one is labelled as being at the Israeli Air Force Museum so not sure what gives with that and the last one is the more commonly seen Argentinian sort of version it's like pretty much a almost a desert sort of scheme really although that appears to be green in this image potentially it's actually dark earth and sandy yellow again over light grey it's some fairly exciting and large squadron badges and things this is from 1986 and this one uses the big the big Matra missile and it gives you the colours colour colour colours involved for that as well. Great set of schemes, really interesting all of them, really nice. So there you go, that's what you get in the box. So this kit at thirty pounds uh you know it's a seventy second scale kit it's not a very big one as you can see and it's thirty pounds you said so you know these these people that are complaining because the Vulcan is too expensive. Say no more. There you go, back to the box. I actually think this represents really very, very reasonable value. The the finesse of these parts, I'm reliably informed that it does build as well as it looks, uh, which is always nice. Um, the finesse of these parts, the detail, the sheer detail in it, it's fantastic, absolutely beautiful. Uh, the kind of quality of kit that only a few years ago I think you we would only expect to see from the likes of Tamir or, or Edward maybe and here it is coming out of the Ukraine in the form of a, a limited run kit essentially absolutely phenomenal I'm blown away by it honestly and um, yeah I won't hesitate to buy more models Vic kits when the subjects tickle my fancy so yeah anybody who's into this beautiful beautiful aircraft and there are lots of other versions of the Mirage 3 and other aircraft in the Mirage family that this manufacturer does and I think I'm right in saying the Mirage 2000 is due out very shortly if not already out just and that's certainly one I could be interested in as well um, but yeah totally recommend it don't don't uh, don't hesitate if you fancy this, even though it does seem a little bit expensive, I think the value is on point. So, buy one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this one. I uh, hope it was useful or interesting or both. Um, so until the next time, look after yourselves, look after each other and Genesis out.